Hi everyone, welcome to this short video which will familiarize you with scholastic active mathematics. Active mathematics is for grades 1 to 5 and it is completely and perfectly aligned with the CBSC syllabus. It's a three-pronged approach. We start with readiness, followed by engagement, and lastly, the pillar of mastery. Readiness, as the name suggests, checks to see whether the child is ready to engage with the new content. Engagement is through a very interesting process called show, explain, apply. And mastery is comprised of various ways in which children can deepen their conceptual understanding through various activities. What's great about active maths besides all of this is that it's extremely easy to teach and very, very easy, therefore, for children to learn because it has a very consistent, crisp structure to it. Let's have a look at these a little more closely. That's a page from the student book saying, let's revise. Simple, short, and effective. The show, explain, apply methodology is about showing students something concrete, something experiential, followed by an explanation, and finally, a chance to apply their knowledge. Plenty of opportunities in active math for children to display their understanding and their ability to apply a new skill. After every lesson, there are skill-based assessments, which are formative in nature. And after each of these skills has been applied in the exercise, for all the skills in a particular lesson, there is a mixed practice. Not only that, after two or three or four lessons have been completed in a particular chapter, all the learnings of that lesson are mixed together in a chapter review, which forms a kind of a summative assessment. So, practice called an exercise at the end of each skill, practice at the end of each lesson, which is a combination of all the skills called practice, and finally, at the end of the chapter, based on all the lessons in it, a final mixed practice of all the skills in all the lessons. Mastery is attained through fun features like HOTS, mental math, word problems, journaling, and math lab suggestions. Here's an example of a HOTS problem. How hot is that? Word problems, the bane of every math teacher, are approached through the four-step UPAC process. Understand, plan, answer, and check. Details on how to go about this and everything in the course book are given in the teacher's manual, which we're going to look at in just a minute. Bar modeling. An extremely popular and effective way of solving word problems, finds and makes an appearance very often as a strategy to solve word problems throughout the book. And now the teacher's manual, which guides the teacher at every step of the way. What are the learning objectives? What are the materials required? How do we exactly go about the show, explain, apply methodology? Plus a thumbnail, a short little crisp graphic of the page in the course book to which the lesson plan applies. The manual also has enrichment worksheets for the students, which are really mind stretchers. Also is regular worksheets for many of the lessons, which can be pulled out, photocopied and given to the students and as and when required. This is a snapshot of the developmental continuum. It's a bird's eye view really of where the teacher is in a particular topic, in a particular grade, and what the children have already done in the previous grade. The column on the rightmost is where the children will be taken to in the next grade. That's why it's called a continuum. 
Here's an example of the regular worksheet we just heard about. And now, very quickly, I'll take you through a chapter walkthrough. You've been through all the components, you've been through the approach, and you've been through the aspects. I would like you to pick up the course book and open to chapter one. When you do this, after Let's Revise, you will see a heading. And under the heading, you will see 1.1. 1.1 is the first skill that is being taught in the show, explain, apply way. After some time, you will see an exercise. Then there may be another skill, 1.2 and another exercise. And then 1.3, also taught through show, explain, apply, and another exercise. And when all the skills, 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4, and of course 1.1 are over, in lesson number one, there is a practice called practice one, which takes care of all the skills in lesson one. Turn the page and you come to 1.2. 1.2 is the second lesson, which also has many skills, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, etc. all through show, explain, apply methodology, followed by practice two. And so on and so forth. The lessons go on, there may be three lessons, so then you'll have 1.3 lesson, etc., etc. Sorry, lesson three, and it goes on. And when all the lessons are complete in the chapter, there is a big mixed bag of questions under the heading called chapter review. Flip a few more pages, and you will see intermittently in the book there are all the mastery features Math Lab, HOTS, Journal word problems, etc, etc. So that's basically it. It is because of its structure, its layout, its approach and its pedagogy, very, very, and in fact, fun for teachers to teach. So much so that it becomes easy to learn for children, all in alignment and perfect alignment with CBSC. That's about it for today, folks. Thank you so much for listening in. If you have any queries, please do get in touch with my colleague Anuradha Dasgupta at the email ID that you see in front of you. We'd be happy to visit your school at a later date. Please do call her and set up a date and a time for the demo. Till then, have fun and all the best from Scholastic. Thank you.